In Paris, several years ago, there was a photographer. He was an American, traveling alone with only his cameras. He had come to Paris many times before and knew the city as well as any foreigner could, but this trip was different than those previous ones. Before, he always had a sense of adventure, going someplace new. This time, it was a trip of escape. Escaping from a life he felt wasn't going anywhere. He had photographed around that corner before, but this time, as he crossed the street, he set eyes on a face he knew he was never going to forget. What are the chances of ever seeing her again? It was that question going through his mind when she appeared once more as he turned the corner around the cathedral steps. Hey, I'm sure you take my picture the other day. Uh, yeah, I, I remember you. Do you always take pictures of strangers? Always. Can I see mine? I uh, have to develop a first scene. Oh, film camera. What are you, an artist? <laughs> no, just a photographer. Must be pretty cool to be a photographer in Paris. Uh, I don't live here, I'm just visiting. Where are you from? New York. Cool, I've always wanted to go to New York. Yeah, New York is uh, pretty cool. But uh, you're not from here either, are you? No, I'm not from here. Where are you from? Yes. Somewhere else in Europe. <laughs> nah, I, I don't know. Oh shoot, I'm actually running late for a meeting. Um, it was nice talking to you. Yeah, nice talking to you too. Hey! Um, I was gonna photograph around La Republic tomorrow. What time? Around two. Best lighting, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe I'll see you. some time and uh, I don't know your name. You haven't asked. <laughs> well, what is your name? You know, I don't want to tell you my name. And maybe I don't want to know yours. Look, I know it sounds crazy. I just think that if we tell each other our names now, when we leave this place, we'll just go on social media and in a few minutes we'll know everything about each other. Yeah, that's true. No one has patience anymore. We need to know everything right now, right away. Is that why you shoot with film? Yeah, kind of. I think the delay with film allows me to take a step back from when I take the picture to when I view it, and that helps me appreciate the work a bit more. I like that. I'm tired of the pressure to do everything right now. I want to enjoy the moment, not worry about what I'm supposed to do or what anyone thinks I should do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like you're not making any kind of forward growth, you're not making any progress. Exactly. To that. To that. Why do you take their pictures? I try to make up their backstories. Imagine their secrets. Ooh, I feel exposed. What did you see in the picture you took of me? If I had to guess, I would say you're recently Harper. Is that obvious? I'm 
I'm healing. Where are you going to be photographing tomorrow? Somewhere around Montmartre. the metro with the word love in almost every language. I know where it is. Good. I guess you could say Paris is my latest stop, although I wish it was my last. Yeah, every time I come to Paris, my friends are like, go somewhere else. You've been there already. <laughs> and what do you say to them? I try to tell them my like logic as an artist. One of the reasons I come here is because I feel like I don't want my work to look like a tourist photo. And one of the ways to avoid that is to come here often. You know what's the best way not to be a tourist, right? Yeah, I have to move here. What are you waiting for? I don't know. I mean, I love this place. I want to li live here, but I don't want to feel miserable. Are you miserable in New York? I wouldn't say I'm miserable, but unhappy. I feel kind of trapped and, you know, one of the reasons why I came here was to escape from that. Trapped by your work? I don't know. What else? What about you? Why don't you move to Paris? You seem to love this place about as much as I do. That's actually another reason why I'm here, to see about moving to Paris. <laughs> really? That's amazing. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's... to get this... Position. You don't have to tell me the details. It's okay. I, I understand. It's to study something I'm really passionate about. I'm just a little nervous. I might not get it. I'm sure you'll impress whoever it is you have to impress. And then a month from now, you're going to be walking around La Senna with a baguette under your arm. <laughs> it's been a while since someone believed in me. That's a shame. My sisters usually have more stable paths than they have. They met their husbands in high school, immediately got married, got good jobs. My youngest sister just had a third child. <laughs> and then there's you, you love trotting and moving to Paris. Kind of. I mean, they always thought I was crazy. But I don't know what I want just yet. And I don't want to settle into something and just be content. I get it. I've spent enough time already doing that. Being complacent, just getting by. Yeah, for me, I feel like a lot of the times I do certain things just so I don't inconvenience someone. That's not a good way to go about life. No, I mean, I don't think inconvenience, but you know, I don't want my actions to lead to someone feeling uncomfortable or getting hurt emotionally. It's hard to do things for yourself when you deeply care about someone. What did you see? You know, the cobblestone streets, the sky, the greenery, timeless. Listen, I'm uh, leaving here in a few days. 
Back to reality. I leave here too later this week. I was wondering when I would tell you. So where are we going to run into each other again? Let's have dinner. I like that. I know this cool place. It's a rooftop bar and a great view of the city. Sounds good. Tomorrow night? Sure. Meet at the Trocadero station around 5, catch another sunset. Perfect. something in your hair. You okay? You seem distracted. I just have a lot on my mind. Tell me about it. Nothing personal, remember? I think we can get past that by now. I just... I wasn't expecting whatever this is to have to come, so we'll, whatever this is. Me either. Everything feels so fast and unpredictable for me now. But isn't that what you wanted? I'm just not used to being on my own. We all gotta start sometime. I used to have someone who was always with me. We lived together, practically grew up together. I was so in love with him and everything seemed so planned out. And then, um, one day, well, it, it's just so sudden, someone you've been in your life for so long, you're just gone. Someone you were sharing a life with and planning a future with, gone. I think you wanted to be seen. That's why when you saw me take your picture the second time, you stopped me and confronted me, stepping out of your comfort zone. Maybe it's be somewhere new, you're willing to take a risk. Yeah. My first time when I came here, I was so nervous because I had dreamed about coming here for so long that I kind of built up my imagination. But eventually it got easier. Time. Time takes time. You just have to get through it. It feels so hard though. Every day it it never ends. That's what sucks about time is that you have to get through the bad stuff in order to get to the good stuff. But there are lots of different things about it. Is that really a question you have to ask? <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to assume. Open it. <laughs> All right, but where is the bottle opener? Do, 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 do. Uh, 
Ah, um, where did you go? How are you feeling? I feel okay. Tired. Yeah, we had a pretty late night. Yeah. So your flight is tonight? Yeah, uh, 6 o'clock. Nice. Yeah, but I wish it was later, or even earlier. I feel like that time doesn't give you enough to do anything else that day. You have to pack, get ready, take the metro, go to security. Yeah, I usually try to fly really early or really late. It's usually better. But, you know, I still have some time. We could do something. Go for a walk, catch a museum. Maybe late lunch instead. I'd like to go home, change, freshen up. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Anywhere good around here? Yeah, uh, I like the place around the corner. It's near the metro I have to take also. Sounds good. Meet me there around one? Yeah. That was it. As time went on, he would often think of her, those warm few days they spent together. But the next time we went to Paris, he had some different views. Oh, whoa. Sorry. Nice camera. Oh, thank you. So, you're a photographer? Uh, I don't know. I like to think of myself as an artist, you don't know? It must be pretty cool to be an artist in Paris. Oh no, I don't live here. But I come here all the time the most magical place, isn't it? It's pretty cool, yeah. Yes. And how about you? I'm just visiting, creating. Oh, nice. Um, can I take your picture? Sure. So is this the part where I never see you again and I'm left wondering about the stranger who took my picture? <laughs> Sure. Okay, great. I'm uh, Vince, by the way. I'm Federica. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too.